You know, you don't always need a barbecue to make barbecue. Sometimes an oven is just as good as any Mac Daddy grill that you have outside. I've got an old fashioned barbecue plate with your name on it. My ultimate barbecue ribs start with a meaty slab of baby back ribs. We're gonna cook in the oven until they fall off the bone. So we've got two racks of baby back ribs. All right, we're gonna season these guys up with some salt and some pepper. And we're gonna drop these into the oven. Uh, get some fresh cracked pepper. The flavor is going to taste fantastic, and it's going to have a beautiful color all at the same time. And then halfway through the process, we're going to start to baste it with a sauce. All right, into the oven, low and slow, 250 degrees um, for probably two hours. All right, I'm going to drop these guys in. Cool. So the slab is in. Now let's talk about making some homemade barbecue sauce. All right, so what we have here is a pot. Now there's something about, you know, buying the stuff in a jar, but there's also something about making it yourself. And it doesn't take that much time. It's just basically like putting a couple of ingredients into a pot and it's kind of let it simmering away. So what we're going to do is start off with some smoked bacon. Now the smoked bacon is actually where we're going to get a lot of our smoky flavor from because we're not using any wood chips, or we're not using any charcoal. So we're going to pull a lot of flavor out from the bacon itself. And what we're going to do is we're make a little bundle with a fresh thyme and we're going to wrap this up pretty tight. It just add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to the bottom of our pot here. Uh, and then we're going to start to sear this and really extract some delicious flavor out of the whole thing. It's going to go in just like that, drop it away. So we're going to let that start to render. Okay. And what we're going to do is take an onion. I've got a garlic head here. I'm going to use half an onion and I'm just going to cut this guy right in half and pull the paper off. And we're going to throw this straight into the bottom of the pot. And we're going to leave this into a big piece. We're going to strain all this out later. We're just making the sauce. And we're going to let this start to simmer away. Okay. Then we're also going to do the same thing with the garlic. We're just talking about a couple of pieces here. And we've got two cloves, maybe three. And we're going to smash the paper off and throw them in as large, big, chunky bits. Okay. Take the paper off. All right, we're going to throw them right into the pot. Like you definitely want a lot of garlic uh, because it's going to taste delicious with the pork and it's really going to make the sauce nice and bold. It's going to let everything start to do its thing, right? So we've got some great base flavor here. Right. Now what we're going to do is add some base to the sauce. We're going to add some ketchup, some peach preserves. And we've also got some spicy Dijon mustard. We're going to take probably two cups of ketchup. And this is going to be the base for the whole thing. And it's also going to give the barbecue sauce a lot of viscosity. It's going to make it nice and thick. Okay? I'm going to drop that in. All right, then we're going to take our peach preserves. Peach and barbecue taste really, really good together. Isn't that great? Now we're going to start to balance out our flavor with the Dijon so it's nice and spicy. And if you don't have Dijon, you can certainly use mustard powder. But I think the, the spice really kind of comes out with Dijon mustard. Okay, so we got that. Now let's talk about some spices. We got some other things here. Okay, we've got some paprika. I love a little bit of cumin in mine, which I think is going to be really delicious. All right, we've also got some molasses, some red wine vinegar, and some brown sugar. So we got about a quarter cup of molasses. Okay, we got the same thing with brown sugar. Okay, we take a whole fresh box of stuff. The brown sugar is really delicious too. Brown sugar is going to go in. Break a big chunk. That looks pretty good. And then we're going to add a little splash of red wine vinegar just to give it a nice fresh balance. All right, about two tablespoons to do the trick. All right, then we're going to add a little bit of spice to it. I've got the, the paprika, um, which is a little smoky. All right, then we're also going to add the cumin to that. Cumin's a really delicious sort of southwestern spice, which I think is going to balance out everything else as well. So it's very distinctive and bold, you know. All right, a little bit of cumin. All right, we got some salt. All right, we got some fresh cracked pepper. I'm telling you, it smells delicious already. All right, we're going to stir this together and then kind of let the whole sauce just do its thing, right? 20 minutes later, we're going to have the best barbecue sauce you've ever tasted. It is absolutely delicious, and that's it.
Now we have two slabs of baby back ribs that have been cooking low and slow. They smell really delicious and we're basting them with a homemade peach barbecue sauce, which smells fantastic. And they're, they're about to fall off the bone at this point. We're gonna go in for one last dab. We're gonna mop on the sauce and then we're gonna throw them back into the oven. They smell absolutely delicious, by the way. They're gonna go into the oven under the broiler uh, just to get a nice crunch on top and they're gonna look really beautiful.